Hey there, buddy. I'm doing the video. As you may know or not know, I'm pretty sure you don't know. I like watching a Joe Budden podcast episodes. I watch it. Sometimes all the cussing and the yelling and the craziness. No, I don't find it so entertaining. But for the most part, it's entertaining. Why? I don't know. I guess because I see Joe as genuine and Ish and Ice as genuine people. The Raw, Rory and Maul, I could not with them because they, to me they weren't genuine. They looked like they didn't want to be there to me. But these two looks like, Ish and Ice look like they want to be there. Because they are his genuine real friends. I like to see Melissa on there. Because Melissa... She gave her a little bit of feminine to it. The way they were treating her at first was just turning me off and it was annoying. I like, why you got her on there? And she know a lot of talk. She can't finish a sentence. If you're going to be attacking her, but nobody can't say nothing about y'all, about anything early in life, but you always on her about women business. I find that annoying. But it's not, it, it kind of ease up to become a little bit more professional now with her. Parks, I like seeing Parks on there. He gave it a um, a nice little background feedback from his um, Caucasian race. But flip, I don't understand the flip dynamic. Flip, he called himself Queen Flip. I'm assuming because he's from Queens. I don't know. So he's on here trying to be. Joe Budden, trying to take over Joe Budden, trying to tell Joe Budden what to do, who to be, how to think. I don't understand how Flip comes on Joe Budden podcast that he been doing for years, because never heard of, I never heard of him. And just come up here and try to run the show, tell a man what to do. I don't understand the dynamic behind that. What? I get Joe Budden do. Whatever um, in in life behind the scene with Flip. Now, I think it's cool. Flip won his own show. Okay, he gets Flip his own show on his Joe Bud Network. I think that's cool. But this is the thing. Why does Flip want a show? If you don't know how to run a show. It is so cringeworthy obvious that I'm just looking at it in awe. Like, what is this? So like Joe said, it's your show. You do what you want. But there's just some things you can't do that he do. Like putting a vibrator in this girl panties and holding the button and you married. That was the most cringeworthy sexual inappropriate thing I've ever seen. So for some reason Flip thinks it's great. No female should have to put up with that. Even if he is your man. I thought that that was I think he called his show Improper Improb or Improv Improb or whatever he called it. It's definitely improper. If those are the things that he's going to be doing, these completely female improper things, I can I can't watch it. Now, then would he be cussing out these other people? In, the, in that same genre of them creating a podcast and all of that, where they come from, from rapping and hip-hop and all of that. Just cussing people out and suck your D thing. I'm like, what is it with 
Suck my D. Suck my D. What is it with men screaming suck my D? What is wrong with y'all? Telling men to suck your D. Your buddy says that and I find it not funny. I find it inappropriate. So what does Flip do? He go and take all of the most improper thing, improper behavior from your buddy, as well as whatever going on with him, and, and turn it into a show. I cannot imagine improper and proper lasting. Like he said, and, and he got this theme now. Um, I might get fired today. What up with that? What kind of theme niche is that? You might got people that way, but I'm like, ugh. I think he on episode seven. I had to, well, let's say it was episode seven. I had to literally, I was so annoyed that I just got, got my remote and hit the button that goes Great back to the dashboard of YouTube. All of this screaming. Suck my day. Your dancing has been there. Suck my day. I don't care about dancing. I don't care about that. Your dancing. Your... What is that? All this shit. And you call women ratchet. Yeah, that's what women do. A certain brand of women do that. But when you in a professional setting like you two trying to be, I like, what? What up with that screaming, attacking, saying the most improper thing to other um podcasters, YouTubers, whatever they calling themselves on their channel, content creators, whether they come from, whether they come from rap, hip hop, or the corporate, the corporate world. Or just whatever occupation they come from. And they find their niche on YouTube. There's no way in the world I can watch a grown man sit on TV, on my TV screen, scream into the top of his voice. Stop! Is that who is loving it? I'm like, and he and he says he got a million views. I think on there when he had that man on there cooking. I have to wonder if he speaks English. He sounds is is um African um well his um what it is. This language is uh, almost on the top of my head. His, oh, it's there. His accent is so deep. I, I didn't have a clue what the man was saying right now. Um, when Parks was trying to interview him, that was the most awkwardest thing I ever seen. It's like he didn't want Parks to interview him or something because of the way they were standing. And Flip come up, everything is just an ease. So, I don't know. Then the thing with the girl with the vibrator and the panty. And the scene with Joe Budden's son running all over the place, just wild and free. I don't know how old that boy is. It was dizzying. 
what is cute? I got a two-year-old grandbaby. Just all over the place, free to be who he is. With him, it can be dizzying. But it's all cute when they're children. But the fact that this little boy running all over Queen Flip, improv, improper, or improper, improper, whatever it is, I don't remember. Mm. That had my attention more than what Flip was doing. And because that had my attention more than what Flip was doing, I don't even remember what Flip that particular episode was about because the little boy and Joe Budden was so distracting. In a good way when it comes to Flip show. And another thing, why do Flip want Joe Budden to run his show and don't want his show don't want him to run his show at the same time. I don't get that. And the main thing why I started this video. Why is Flip last episode, I wanna think it's seven. Could be eight, I don't know. I think it's seven. Why is the why is for some reason he wants Joe Budden to start his show? Joe Budden can start a show, but he wants Joe Budden to do all the talking and do this and do that. It is flip show. I want to see a flip show, not a Joe Budden show. On a flip show, on improv and proper. Now this is the thing that. My psyche can't get past. So when Joe Budden walks away, Flip has to introduce his own show like Joe Budden introduced his show. Weird, crazy, how they do it. I don't find it very entertaining doing it that way with that screaming and that hollering. Ah. But it's Joe Budden. There's nobody else doing it. So if I can get past, I get past. If I can't get past, I have to scroll it. Because sometimes it's, sometimes all the screaming and hollering and craziness, I just find it annoying. Highly annoying. But, I, but I'm not in people's com you know, in his comment section saying what I say. Because it's his show. If I don't like it, don't watch it. Or for some reason, something about your button show I like to watch. Certain... Craziness in it, I don't. When I scroll past it, it's, he goes into it too long. I'm like, oh my God. But Flip. When Joe Budden wasn't there to introduce his show, or he to talk to Joe Budden, or make it about Joe Budden to introduce the show. He introduced his own show. And he introduced it identical to the way Joe Budden introduces his show. I like, oh my God, this is not a Joe Budden show. This is a Flip show. Why are you being Joe Budden? It kind of reminds me of Judge Judy, and I think Judge Shiner is her husband, how Judge Judy came out and took over the attitude and it took off. But Judge Shiner, her husband, got, gets upset because he say that's his personality. Apparently nobody was watching him. And when his wife came out with his annoying personality that Judge Judy turned into money. So I guess they ended up divorcing over that because he was mad because he said like, that's me. Maybe the way Joe Budden act is the way Flip always act. That could very well be true, like the like the Judge Judy and the Judge Shiner thing. 
But Joe Budden is the one that monetized it. That everybody is watching doing it, is looking at. Everybody is used to Joe Budden, so everybody is looking for, expecting this improper niche thing from Joe Budden. That's what they're used to, because that's what they see it first. Now, Flip might have did first on some scenes. I've never heard of Flip. But apparently he's been around or whatever these people. And that's probably always been his personality. But you cannot come on your buddy show and be who was probably yourself all your life and come on here and be that. When it's identical to your buddy. It is confusing. It's confusing. I need to go to speech therapy to get my speech right. But anyway, to learn how to speak proper again. But anyway, I have issues. But anyway, my reason for starting this video is I do not want to see Joe Budden on steroids, on improv, improper, Queen Flip show. We already seen the Joe Budden show. And I don't think he should change it because that, I don't think he should change it. Maybe some of that craziness and the length he goes to doing it where I have to scroll through it because I, like, I just can't. I've been on this earth for 62 seasons. I cannot. But, Joe Budden has a good show. Flip, I see in Flip's show how his show could be good. When he had the kitchen part, that lady on there with the um, vibrator in the panties. Uh, you can need to go to strip clubs and do that. Cause I don't want to see it. I will, I will scroll past that if he keep doing that. And then he's going to get sued if he keep on doing stuff like that to women. A lot of women do that stuff because, you know, whatever reason, you know, to get ahead, make some money. But I don't think it, I don't think it was about money for this girl. I think about this girl that's trying to know, you know, to get ahead. Follow the clout. Because your burden is the clout. Flip following the clout. This girl following Flip who's following the clout. Parks, I think, is the money. And uh, and a lot of other stuff behind the scenes. As well as all the other people that make that your burden machine run. Now, Flip need his own machine. His own people to make it run. He wants to use everything Joe Budden has to create his show. And you can't. Joe Budden built that. Flip trying to build. It's like trying to build a house. Flip trying to build a nice mansion like Joe Budden got with his show. With the wood, the nails, from your body in the house. You're going to be taking the wood, the nails, the pictures, uh, everything that gets this mansion running properly for it to be a comfortable, beautiful place to live. In this case, a beautiful show. To entertain content YouTubers and building your house with it. How? You can't do that. It's highly irritating. It's like my, th really, when I watch, when I watch on um, Flip Show, my whole 
um, third eye in the middle of my, I guess my frontal lobe starts tangling and gets highly irritated. Like, and, it, and it's like, God is telling me, why are you watching this? Why are you irritating yourself watching this? You get to point out this, go check it off, get my remote, and click, click back. Straight back to the dashboard. And I call it dashboard is where, well, you know what dashboard is. So anyway, that is why I started this video. Because right now I am watching the Joe Budden podcast, I think. Um, the game. Nah, nah, 619. This is what I do in the morning. I watch this show and a couple other shows. Joe Budden show. I like as I watch this, or if, if Kwame don't have, I went to watch Kwame, but I think his ends up coming. So I watched Joe Budden, Kwame Brown, and some other um, shows that I like, but this is too off the top of my head, because that's what I'm looking to watch this morning. But this man, sitting in this high chair in the middle, I don't want to see Your button number two on steroids show. Watching Joe Budden is enough on his own show. The man is a bit much. But that's who he is. This is probably who Flip is. But you can't but I just cannot. And it's, and it just seems to me like Flip is trying to Basically, behind the scenes, as if how intelligent people don't see it, sabotage Joe. Because he want to be Joe. He want Joe's show. He want to be everything Joe is what I see. Because you can't come on here. I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. But anyway. That's it for this video. So, if you find this from a different perspective interesting, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and I'll see you next time with another video. Bye!